You have probably seen some illustrations showing these smart angles and coordinates. This video shows how did we get the following coordinates. Let's say this is our unit circle. Remember that a unit circle is a circle having a radius of 1. Therefore, we can easily identify some of the points on the unit circle. So let's say this is the center of the circle. So from the center to this point on the circle, we can say that the coordinate would be 1, 0. For this point, this would be 0, 1. Here would be negative 1, 0. And this point would be 0, negative 1. Now we're going to identify the coordinates of these points on the unit circle with these angles in standard position. So that would be the 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. Let us first find the coordinates of this point on the unit circle. So let's say this angle is at 30 degrees and we are forming a right triangle. Also remember that the radius is equal to 1 because this is a unit circle. Let's say this is your 30 degrees and this is 90 degrees. We can easily say that this angle measures 60 degrees because the sum of the angles of a triangle should be equal to 180 degrees. It is also given that the hypotenuse is equal to 1. Therefore, the length of this side is 1 half because in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, the length of the opposite side of 30 degrees is 1 half of the length of the hypotenuse. Now, let us try to get the x distance here. Since we're dealing with right triangle here, we can use Pythagorean theorem to represent the setup. So that would be the sum of the square of the two legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. We already know the value of y, so by substitution, that would be x squared plus 1 half squared is equal to 1. Simplifying, that would be x squared plus 1 fourth is equal to 1. Transposing 1 fourth to the right side, that would be 1 minus 1 fourth. Therefore, x squared is equal to 3 over 4. To get the value of x, we need to get the square root of both sides. And therefore, it would give us x is equal to square root of 3 over 2. In this case, we're getting the positive answer because the point is located in the first quadrant. Therefore, the coordinates of this point is square root of 3 over 2, 1 half. To identify the coordinates of this point with an angle of 60 degrees here, the process would be the same as earlier, but in this case, since the location of your 30 degrees is here, remember that the opposite side of the 30 degrees in a right triangle is one half of the length of the hypotenuse. So now, this would be the one half. And this is square root of three over two. Therefore, this would be the coordinates of this point, one half square root of three over two. How about the coordinates of this point with an angle of 45 degrees here? So let us identify the lens of these two sides. So by Pythagorean theorem, we can represent it as x squared plus y squared is equal to 1 squared. What we see here is an isosceles right triangle. For the length of the two sides here would be equal. Or we can say that x is equal to y. Therefore, 
I can substitute x to the y value here. So I can have x squared plus x squared is equal to 1 squared. Simplifying, I can have 2x squared is equal to 1. Dividing both sides by 2, that would be x squared is equal to 1 half. To get x alone, we have to get the square root of both sides. Simplifying, I would be having square root of 1, that would be 1, over the square root of 2. We need to rationalize this by multiplying square root of 2 over square root of 2. Therefore, x is equal to square root of 2 over 2, because that would be 1 times square root of 2, that would be square root of 2, and then square root of 2 times the square root of 2 would be positive 2. And since x is equal to y, therefore, the coordinates of this point is square root of 2 over 2, and square root of 2 over 2.